Yo, what are you saying? It's a boy Miles Chaps and I'm back again with another video and this is a new setting entirely and as, as many of you guys may know, I moved to university yes, the excellence of higher education and it just took me a while to get settled in that's the reason why I haven't really been uploading in the past like two weeks but I'm back on the grind and back on YouTube and you're gonna see this ugly mug on your screen once again so today's video that you know has been prepared by YouTube for us really and truly is a video that's been recommended to me countless of times over the past two weeks and if YouTube is forcing me to watch this I'm going to be forcing you guys to watch this with me so yeah let's get into the video actually read what this guy actually said because I was just skimming through this as the video was going on but like I actually need to see what this guy said because he's sending a paragraph to a girl and you do know when guys send paragraphs to girls they are utterly serious about this girl so let's see what it starts off with I just had to say I really really like you a lot to the point where it's kind of scary and I really like how you look on my bedroom floor and I really like how you look track pants and I really like how you look in your hoodie I really like how you smell right after a shower wait a minute these guys these guys haven't met yet right wait this guy's giving us some serious serial serial killer vibes like I'm not gonna lie this is something else entirely like I've never heard somebody say this you haven't even met the girl I can say that she looks nice in her bedroom floor. Like I thought maybe he like screenshots that like, made a post up on the floor or something. But my guy said how you smell right after a shower. This girl must be terrified. She she must feel like the guy's living under her bed or something, like the monster underneath her bed. Really and truly this guy wait, what was see what this guy put here? He said, I really like how you smell when you're extremely sweaty. Yeah, this guy is done out here. Any girls who watch this video, and I'm pretty sure girls don't even view my channel, but if you do, if a guy is telling you he likes how you smell when you're sweaty, he's done out here, just leave him, just escape, run away, find the closest exit, because this here is safe for anyone. I can safely say with my chest this guy is low-key kind of tapped like he's feeling his girl a bit too much something needs to be done here and I'm pretty sure something will be done here guys um I'm in the library right now so I can't really talk loud but anyway today I'm gonna meet Kate um if you guys don't know Kate and I we have been dating for two years already online so the distance relationship never met in real life and i'm really nervous but i also got this excitement i hope his excitement is proper excitement not excitement down there because he's saying he's nervous like i would be nervous too if i was meeting somebody who said that they like the way how i smell after a shower and i've never met them before that's some freddy krueger type vibes um anyway she's gonna come to my school later on and we're gonna meet. I'm, I'm super nervous and it's like... Out of all places to pick a date for your long distance girlfriend to come meet you at is a school. Now what are you guys gonna do? Just play some cool maths games. Like, I would recommend run, you know, run free. But other than that, that's a crappy date place. Imagine hitting up your girl saying, yo, do you wanna go out someplace? Like, oh, where do you wanna go? Grab a chicken and doors. I don't know, go TGIs or something. So like, no, let's go, let's go to school. <laughs> so useless antics, but I'm not gonna lie, the guy's a kid. Maybe that's the way how he moves girls. I can't really judge him for that. She's such an amazing girl. It's... Oh my god. My mom knows her and she my mom loves her. Mm. I just really can't wait for 
for this moment. I'm gonna record. I'm gonna vlog this whole thing. I think uh, when I met her and when I meet her and stuff, so you guys can see how it is. So um, yeah, I'm in the library right now, so I really can't talk about. But anyway. I'm not gonna lie, like, if we're gonna meet a girl for the first time, I don't think she'd be shoving a camera into her face, like, that shouldn't be the first thing on your mind, vlogging the thing, and if it does go wrong, you already posted this on YouTube for well, a bunch of videos, like me, to make videos on, so, in a way, you're giving me free content, so thank you for allowing my transition to uni and into making a new YouTube video to be so simple, thank you. What's, what's her name for? What's her name? Her name is Kate. What's her last name? I don't mind saying her last name, bro. Alright. So, YouTube. Where's she from? She's from Nebraska, yeah. She's, no, she, no, no, she has a vacation. She has a um, vacation to California. Yeah. And I was like, come down to my place, right? So, yeah, we're just gonna skip all this useless waffle and get right into the, the meat that we're, that we're really here for. We're gonna get into the part of the video when they actually meet because this is just utter waffle dude you no, see her I'm, you see I'm her? shaking for no reason like uh, uh, go go hug her go hug her some shit oh, i'm scared dude she's so pretty look at her oh my god go her like that. that's awkward oh, this, this is acting like little children you know like, oh she's over there i can't talk to her oh no then why did you call her to come from how many states away i don't know the geography of america i'm not from there but she must have traveled a long way for you to start giggling and running back to your boys like why would you even bring your boys in this situation what did they mean between you and her now it's you her your boys and the camera and the audience from youtube is going to be watching this later oh, go hug Hi. i guess gonna do something Hi. Gonna hug. <laughs> my brother sam is with me all right nice to meet you and she must think that she is going into like a drug deal gone wrong because really and truly like it's one thing bringing your boys to meet your long distance girlfriend is another story to bring your brother because if that don't work out you're taking a major L in front of the family dude that's so crazy like what's it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm sorry i'm sorry Man, that is just some useless fruity shit right there like i'm not gonna lie usually it's the reverse situation like i just think this guy is just done out here like I don't think anything can save him after that. Like, that's the first impression she ever got after she met you after. Like, the first time she ever met you, if that's the first thing you ever did to her, like jump on her like that. This so-called, oh, quote unquote, day ain't going anywhere for us. Uh -huh. That's so crazy, like. You're mine, you know? It's, it's so hard to say it, like, you're mine. But look at the way you're saying it. Dude, you over there, you're mine. Um, go Pikachu, some rubbish. She ain't no Pokemon and she's not a possession. How? This is, this, this ain't, this ain't working for the guy. It's not working for the kid at all. Like, that's something else entirely. You can't go to someone and say you're mine. This ain't the slave trade. This can't be happening again. Uh, hey, y'all, you just wanna get something to eat? You wanna, wanna eat something? Uh, yeah, yeah, um, you're, you're new to Cali, right? Yeah. I'll take you to Yeah, if you we, can, we, can, we can, we can get some food if you want. Okay, yeah. Wait, yeah, I'm just, also recording, just, if you know, I'm recording a YouTube video. Really? Hi, guys. Yeah, she seems so reluctant to just say that hi, guys. Like, she, I bet she was even thinking why I just thought recording Saturn in the first place, but you know what? We're all in this situation together. We're all suffering and watching this video together, so we might as well just die together. Hi, I'm Kate. Um... We've been talking for like two years now, like secretly. Yeah, but, online. It's um, crazy how that's so crazy. I'll, I'll I love the way how he said she's my online girlfriend and she is mine. But when she gave her own context of the situation, um, she said that we've just been talking for two years. So she, even she's not feeling the guy. I think she just came here face to face just to tell the guy that she ain't interested in him. And just we made it this far, you know, a lot of people try to tear us apart, but we're still here. We're still here. What tried to tear you apart? Uh, your math GCSEs or something, but what kind of nonsense is this? Who's trying to tear you man apart? Bro, this ain't no epic love story. This ain't no protagonist of some saga. This is just kids. You're super pretty. <laughs> You're super short. I'm not gonna lie, that is just something else entirely. 
Like, you can even see the look on his face. He, he himself is just done out here. But if I was him, I would just dash off the balcony and just run home and cry. Because that's something else entirely. This is like the conclusion of the video. I'm seeing a surprise to her. Um, my buddy Conrad. He's gonna play the instrumental. I'm gonna sing a song to her. I think my guy's gonna spit bars for her. You know, he may come back from this. Like, if he's actually gonna, you know, spit some bars, you know, spit some street fire. All of the rubbish that we've been forced to sit through this video may actually be worth it. This dead video that we're watching and my dead commentary, like, this could be worth it if he spits some bars. He may be the new figure we need in the American hip hop scene. Love, baby girl. Yeah, I was lying. Um, forget when I just said that's something else entirely. This guy cannot sing for shit. Sure. The situation is just bad, like she feels like she wants to vomit, I feel like I want to vomit, probably you guys feel like you want to vomit too. This is just a dead situation and guys, if you find yourself in a situation like this, just stop. I thought he was going to make a comeback, we all thought, we all thought he was going to make a comeback. They had us in the first half, not going to lie. Cause I know you're worth it, yeah. Oh, hug. That was awkward as fuck and really and truly that's the end of the video. There is another video in general in which he tells us the aftermath of this epic traumatizing event but we're gonna save that for another video really and truly. I can't hack anymore of this rubbish singer. So you know what? If you liked the video make sure you like and you comment down below what I did right, comment down below what I did wrong. You know, comment if you like this room. Truly. Comment anything and as always if it's the first time you're seeing my ugly mug on your screen make sure you like and you subscribe hit the notification bell to get notified if ever or whenever I post and I will see you in the next video in a bit She got me going psycho She got me going down 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 Got me living on a tightrope